Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Behind You. This is a 2020 film. Yay! I find them, folks. I find them. I bring them to you. This was released in April of 2020. Currently on IMDb, it has 628 grades. Worldwide, people can get on here. 628. So I'm 629. And uh, this is rated R. It runs an hour and a half. Stars Addie Miller, Elizabeth Berkner, and Jan Broberg. The description. Two young sisters find that all the mirrors in their estranged aunt's house are covered or hidden. When one of them happens upon a mirror in the basement, she unknowingly releases a malicious demon. This is behind you. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. Um, if you'd like any correspondence with me outside YouTube, I have my Facebook page up and running. It's Danny's Movies and Music. You can go on there if you would like for bonus content and other reviews of other things that I don't put on YouTube. Um, I know we're all looking forward to theater movies, but guess what? People who don't put out new content like me, um, there are new movies in 2020. This is one of them. So... Let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, first and foremost, um, there is a gentleman in this movie, not just women. I know it stars three women, but uh, there's a gentleman in this movie, and I have always liked him. He is a great actor. He really pulls off different uh, roles, whether it be a lawyer or a doctor. He used to be in a comedy a long time ago that I've watched a million times. And so he is kind of what makes this movie for me, not any of the females. And I think that he brings so much to this movie as a side character that he almost starts to overshadow everybody else because he is so good. Uh, in that regard, I also was just impressed right off the bat and I knew why I was getting into something really good when I saw the production value of this movie. Um, everything from the whispering of the demon to the, the quick turns to the music being appropriate for the situation. Um, just everything seemed to be on par of what I would expect from a really good, well done movie that I was impressed even the first 10 minutes. So I really knew what I was getting into. I was really happy about being able to watch a good movie and all the way through, it kept that going and kept the acting going, kept the production going, kept the dialogue going, kept the scares coming. And I just really appreciate a movie like this. So um, we'll talk about the younger girls because they're usually, you know, kind of the downside of a movie like this. You know, are they appropriately scared? Are they reacting the certain way? You know, them being whatever possessed or is that well done or not um there's things to worry about um i would say the weaker of the two actresses is the older one even though she you know has her head on her shoulders and she can tell what's going on um i don't like her reactions all the time but she still is acting scared or acting appropriately i just thought that it could have been better than what she did and um the younger girl she just you know she's just having fun you know i mean she's talking to a stuffed animal that's possessed and she just really misses her mom that died you know recently and that's just part of the movie so i'm not giving anything away there and uh she's just a joy to watch you know i mean i just think that she looks like a young actress should i think in a couple years just you know, by telling what she looks like in this movie, I could really see her doing some different things. I think she could be a star. So, um, I do like the familiar feeling of this movie. I know a lot of people will knock that, obviously, reflecting on the grade it has online. A lot of people aren't really enjoying the familiarity of this movie and probably are calling it boring. And I understand that a little bit, but I completely disagree. 
Um, I think this is very unique, even though it's familiar. I think it's a nice idea. I think it goes along the lines of movies like Oculus and stuff, but it brings its own flavor, brings its own characters. It has family elements. It has friend elements. It has surprises. It has this thing that you think is the end. And then there's still quite a bit more after that. And so I just think that there's a lot to this movie to adore and that people aren't really getting it, why it's good. But if you don't care about really strong side characters and really well done performances by young the younger actresses and the production value, if you don't care about that kind of stuff and you're just going to tell yourself you're bored at a movie like this because it's something you've seen before then you're probably not going to like it. But I really did, and I completely disagree with everybody online so far that has voted for a grade. And I'm going to get behind you an A. It is one of my favorite ones that I've seen in a while. It has an actor I really, really enjoy following. I enjoy singing, seeing on screen anytime, whether it be on my phone or my TV or the theater big screen. And I just think that the story makes sense. They have... Uh, kind of a, a guide to explain things to us if you need explaining and if you don't if you don't like that element then it's still there and it's still something to follow along so um, I just think that people can be very critical of movies like this and I think this is one that you should just enjoy sit back and enjoy and if you are really that bored, then I can't do anything for you. But I think a lot of people can get a lot out of this. And obviously, since not that many people have watched it or graded it or reviewed it or anything online, it's one to see that is pretty new and you can give it a chance that way. An A for Behind You. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.